Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am going to be sharing with you what I got my baby in her Easter basket. Now, I did make the conscious decision of purchasing the basket off a of Pottery Barn. I think that it is a cute idea to have your baby's name monogrammed onto something that is very personal and theirs. So the fact that Pottery Barn offers this is very cute and I love it. I know that it is expensive just because you know you have to purchase the basket and the liner separately make sure you do that because I made the mistake of just buying the liner thinking that I was purchasing the liner with the basket and I made the same mistake with my nephew as well so don't do that make sure that you're purchasing both the basket and liner and yeah I think that this is very cute and as you can see it holds a lot of things in it so I am really excited to share with you guys what I got my baby because I've seen a lot of videos on here in regards to um, kids Easter baskets but most of them are really geared to toddlers or much older kids and not necessarily babies so I figured I'd show you guys what I got my baby and maybe you guys will get some inspiration so without further ado let's get started first item up is this baby fruit feeder pacifier a lot of my friends have been recommending this especially because my baby just likes to shove food into her mouth and it's quite scary to be honest but all you do is you put the piece of fruit into the latex little feeder there and all they do is just suck on it and you don't have to worry about your baby choking whatsoever this particular feeder brings three different sizes one of them being zero to six months the other being six to twelve and then one for nine months of age but i thought that this would be very cool for her to use because we are in that stage where we are introducing solids to her and she's not particularly fond of fruits which i find to be very uncommon for babies she does love her vegetables a lot again which is very uncommon for babies in my opinion but I am very excited for her to use this because she does partake into liking strawberries a lot. So I am very excited to use this. The majority of her items did come from Amazon and Five Below. In my opinion, I do believe that Amazon had the cheaper prices as opposed to Target. So I would suggest that you double check the items if you're purchasing off of Target, let's say check with Amazon or vice versa to see which one is cheaper and get the most bang for your buck. <laughs> the next item I got for her are these little sweet candies. And let's just be honest, you guys, these candies are for me. They're not for her. <laughs> these are the Sour Patch Kids eggs. And then this is the original Skittles. I think I purchased them for like 65 cents or so. They were like less than a dollar for sure. But these were from Five Below and I can't wait to have these. As well as, I can't wait to have this giant Forever Rocher. This was $5 at 5 below. I mean, guys, look how huge this thing is. This is like my favorite candy. I really can't wait to have this one. The one, well, not one, two items that I purchased from Target. One of them being this little egg carton, wooden egg carton thing. And the other being this shimmery pearl dyeing kit i'm thinking that i'm going to dye these eggs for her hopefully um since it's wood it does take to the dye we shall see and i will let you guys know but i am very excited to be using this and to dye these eggs for her so that she can have it in her easter basket the other item i got from five below was this bubbled wand i figured that we could take a few cute pictures with her and her baby cousin Dylan and yeah I think it was like a little fun item to purchase for her it's like I think either three or five dollars at five below they have different color um liquid solutions and different wands for you know your child whether it's a girl or a boy but yeah I thought this was pretty cute to put in her Easter basket I also got this Manhattan plushy stuffed animal for her. This is one of the items that I had mentioned earlier in the video where it was much cheaper to purchase off a of Target than it um, Target off of Amazon than it was from Target. 
at Target it was I think retailing for $12 and I bought it for half the price at Amazon plus I got it the next day as opposed to Target where I would have to wait a few days to get it but I think it's really cute it has a bunch of roses on here and you can never go wrong with a bunny for Easter another item from Amazon that I got for her that I think is very very um I don't want to say cute, but I guess um, useful. That's the word I'm looking for. Useful, and I think it's very good for her to start, at least in my opinion, to start your kids very young with um, is the Spanish flashcards. I particularly do not remember when I started speaking Spanish or English. I don't even remember which was my first language. I do like to incline to say that Spanish was my first language because my parents did not speak English at the time. But I want her to speak Spanish. I think it's a big part of who we are. We are a bilingual family. And I think that it is very crucial nowadays to speak another language. So I bought these Spanish flashcards for her. They're geared towards babies. It, you know, has the word morado, el árbol, dos. And so I don't think that it is too young to start her off with like these words and have her hear them every single day. I did purchase other flashcards from Target and I think they were like the ABCs, numbers, and like your 51st words. Again, I really don't think it's that young to start your baby with some of these educational flashcards. I think they're a pretty cool idea and yeah, I got these for her and I'm really excited to use this with her. The other item I have here is this Cooling Relief Massage and Soothe Sore Gums from Ma'am. She is teething. She already has two teeth that broke through her gums. And for right now, she's been doing very well. She hasn't gotten like sick or any fevers from her teething. And I really think it's because we have a bunch of these teething toys. We have them in the freezer just ready to go to like when she just starts gnawing at things, which is like all the time including my chin um we just go into the uh, the freezer and just give it to her and she just starts going to town with it but i like this one in particular because it brings this little clip thing where you can just hook it onto their clothes and you can tie it to the actual uh, teething toy and yeah you don't have to worry about it falling to the ground you know it's attached to your kid's body so you're not going to lose it on top of that and yeah, I am excited for her to use this because I know that she is going to need it. And she has more teeth coming, by the way. So, very excited for this as well. Now, the last two items are the ones that I said earlier in the video that I do have the most fondest memories of. And that is Peter Cottontail. I don't know if you guys have read the book or even watched the movie i think if you're much older you definitely have but i grew up watching peter cottontail for easter since i can remember and i think it's like one of the first movies that i watched in english like i said most of my childhood i just spoke spanish due to my parents not speaking english so yeah i grew up watching peter cottontail and i definitely want her to you know, experience the same thing that I experienced while I was watching these, uh, watching this movie. And yeah, I don't know. I'm very, very excited for these items for her. I just can't wait until she actually starts grasping, you know, the movie and understanding. And the book, you know, I definitely got it. Like I said, it, I never think it's too young to start, you know, your child's education. So definitely reading helps out a lot. So I'm excited for her to have this. That is it for what's in my baby's Easter basket. I hope it gave you guys some ideas as to what to put in your basket. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys do for Easter. If you're doing an Easter basket and what special items you're putting in your Easter basket. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!